is what flexibility looks like to me. A lot of people talk about flexibility. I'm 65 years old. My flexibility is better today at 65 than it was at 20. I think I have a pretty good idea how to help you out with your flexibility. If you'll take a band like this, wrap it around your foot, keep both legs straight. The left leg straight puts more pressure into this other leg. If you'll do before you start, do a sit and reach. Reach out here, see where you're at. Find out where you're at. Then come up into here, take your leg, bring it up, and give it a gentle stretch, and back out. That's all the further you have to let off. Now, I'm gonna say this. Some people may start here, and it's locked up, and I understand that. So if that's where it is, then just bump it out here. Mine happens to be up here. So I'm gonna take the band, rest my head on the floor, pull, stretch, and back off. Pull and back off. Don't waste your time taking your foot all the way down here and bringing it up. Get a grip up on the band fairly high. Pull and back off. Pull and back off. That's going to pinch here in behind the knee. Make sure the leg is locked out. If it's not locked out, you're not going to get the benefit. Pull your toe towards your knee. Again, if the toe is pointed down, you're not going to get the benefit. It's a different stretch with the toe there versus here. So those are two important points. Grasp the band now, just below the foot. Pull down on the band, bend the knee slightly, and walk it out. Again, don't waste your time taking the leg down here and bringing it up. Put your hands up on the side of the band, pull down, lock out. When I say lock out, that means your thigh muscles are gonna squeeze tight, You'll feel the muscle in the front of your calf. That's called the tibialis anterior. That pulls the toe up. So this is all locked out, and the pinch is coming in behind the knee. Pull down on the band. We go one, two, through, five. Now, I'm gonna bring the band up a little higher, and I'm gonna create some discomfort. Pull down on the band, and lock it out. One, two, through, five. Now, I'm gonna bring the band up as high as I can handle the pressure, and I'm gonna cause as much discomfort as possible. So I bring the band up, I pull down, and I lock out. One, two, through, five. So right there we had three reps, or three sets, Five reps. Now I'm going to lateral stretch, which goes up the inside of the leg. I'm going to bend the opposite knee. I will take the band here, bend the knee that I'm going to stretch on. Band is in the palm of the hand. So I'm going to take this band now, stretch it out, pull it over the head, and push the leg out. We call this a lateral stretch, but you're gonna feel that in your hamstring and up the inside of the knee. So we're gonna bend and squeeze, one set, five reps. If you want a little more flexibility work in the groin area, take your hand, push your leg down. That goes big time into the groin. To hit the hamstring again, I bend the knee and lock it out. One, two, through, five. Take the end of the band, same hand, same foot, bend the knee, stretch the band out, pull it over the head, and push cross body. Try to keep both shoulders on the floor. 
Roll your hips over and push through five. Bring the legs straight up, push one through five. Take the band in the right hand, same hand, same foot. Roll to the left side, bend the knee, reach back, and make sure the band is off of the heel. Place the hands on the side of the band. Reach overhead, pick the knee off of the floor, and now you're stretching your thigh. So you bring the knee off of the floor and put it down. Take your time when you first start. If this is real tight, just bring it up a little bit and put it down. Up a little bit and put it down. Work up and put it down. A leg extension. Kick the leg down to the floor and take your time bringing it back up. A lot of people will take the band and kick it down and pop it up. That's not what you're after. Kick it down, walk it out, and bring it up under control. Kick it down and bring it up under control. Five to ten reps. Kick it down, point the to toe. Reach, pull on the band, and stretch. That's hip flexor, groin. Roll to the left side. Bend both knees. The weight is now on the elbow and forward. As I reach back and stretch, I have the quad. As I kick down, I have a leg extension. As I pull on the band, I stretch the quad. As I straighten out the leg, this comes up through the groin, the hamstring, and helps you with your hip flexibility. So wherever you put your leg up in through here, you're right, you can't be wrong. So we're gonna move this around, sit up. If you loop the band down under the heel, that allows you to reach back, catch the band, take the circle, transfer to the other foot. Again, we'll lay back on the floor. Take the band in the palm of the right hand, again, Opposite foot, opposite hand. Bend the leg, drive the band out, push and squeeze. Try to keep your body straight up and down. I hold the band out here at the foot, just makes it a little easier. Bend and squeeze, bend and squeeze. If you want more groin, put the hand on the heel, push down, straighten the leg out. Tremendous pull down through the groin area and in behind the knee. Drive the leg up, lock it out. Take the band off again. Same hand, same foot. Stretch it out. Take it over the top. Push across body. Drive it straight up. Take it off. Bend the knee. Make sure you reach back. Take the band off of the heel. That takes pressure off of your knee. Grasp the band over the head, bring the knee off the floor, put it down. Knee off the floor, put it down, kick down to the floor, bend the knee, kick down, point the to toe, bring the leg up, stretch, stretch, and stretch. Move the leg around wherever you want. Take the band here also. Position it around the foot. You want to hit the piriformis muscle. You bend the opposite knee. Put the foot across the thigh. Pull up and drive it off the floor. Take your time. Just pull up, stretch, and stretch. That will cover for you the basics in our lower body flexibility program.